Studio SML is conceptualized to be a progressive project. It hopes to archive and document the journeys and stories of Singapore designers before they shine and before they die, creating a comprehensive volume of Singapore design history that can be assessed by current and future generations of students, designers and everyone who loves design and wants to have an understanding of what designers do. In this light, Studio SML takes on the role of a vessel that shares knowledge and teachings, much like a sage, the wise one. Conceived during a pandemic, I hope that the stories in Studio SML can inspire and be a source of reflection for our design community to provide respite and recharge for the creative mind during these strange times. Produced in a time of adversity, much like the spirit of most designers who often thrive despite hardships, Studio SML embodies the same spirit of Sage the Herb. Abstract Creatures is an art installation launching the website studiosml.net. Abstract Creatures is a metaphor for design studios as designers often run their studios organically without any business plans or by-the-book strategies. Development of the studio and business is often done intuitively and spontaneously. Each studio is like an abstract creature something strange, something intriguing, something that has a life of its own. Just like lalang grass, they grow and spread without the need for any external help. What we have here is a flying elephant. It's a little bit uh, inspired by Dumbo. And it's a metaphor for Zhang Yongte, who is from uh, Cheng Architects. He's a one-man show, small studio. Why he's a flying elephant is because Yongte, as we know, uh, is a great designer and his designs are always very majestic. But Yongte, as a person, is very, very quiet, very gentle, always very humble, but yet his presence is always felt. This was actually the first design that I did that inspired this whole exhibition. When I was thinking of uh, Studio SML as an entity, I was thinking what is common to all design studios. It dawned upon me that through the interviews that we did, every design studio sort of grew organically without a real business plan. So each studio is like an abstract creature. So with that metaphor, I designed this first mythical creature. It doesn't look like anything because it shouldn't. It is actually inspired by this Chinese idiom, Shan Tou Liu Bi, which literally translates as three heads, six legs. And it is a mythical creature, but it really means a maverick in Chinese. Randy is an old friend and his uh, very diverse creations are always very, very surprising. To me, he's, uh, he's kind of like a maverick that cannot be described. He's a Santo Liu Pi, which is a three head, six legs. So this is the metaphor for Sing Sheng, Jessica and Pam. Uh, it's actually a pair of Atlantic puffins. Pam and Jessica are good friends of mine and they seem to be so in sync with each other they could even complete each other's sentences off. But at the same time, they, besides their, apart from their business, they lead very, very separate lives. So uh, why the Atlantic Puffin is because Puffins, they usually lead their own lives and they come together once a year to mate. So I thought it's the perfect metaphor for Sing Sheng, Pam and Jessica because they lead separate lives but they live for Sing Sheng and they came together for this venture which is their baby. This is uh, Eco Eat Architects. Uh, the two partners are uh, Kelvin and Boon Yang. They are a large firm of 70 to 80 people. Their metaphor is wolves. Basically, wolves uh, like to move in packs. So they have, you know, sort of like a big pack of uh, wolves with them. And wolves also like to explore new territories. And for them, they have uh, offices all over the region. They are really the wolves of architecture. 
So this cute little one uh, is a metaphor for Gabriel Tan. His metaphor is a cross between a cockroach and a grasshopper. Gabriel, as I know him, is one of the most hardworking designers. He is a person with a lot of grit, never say die, and would do anything to make things happen. Hence a cockroach which will never even die in a nuclear war, and that's Gabriel for you. And why a grasshopper as well? Because Gabriel is now based in Portugal, so he has kind of like leaped out of his comfort zone from Singapore to, uh, to Portugal, a place that he's totally not familiar with. To be a successful designer is not something that happens overnight and more often than not, the journey is not an easy one. Besides having to go through the same hardships as any startups, you also have to stay inspired and creative amidst running the business. Every day you go to work, every day you are like a creeper scaling the wall, one millimeter, one centimeter. You hardly notice it, but you are scaling higher very slowly every day. Every day you come back from a tired day of work. You deserve to rest and if you can just do a little bit of things that make you happy, be it doodling, eating something nice, a walk in the park, learn to appreciate these little moments because this is happiness at its purest and simplest form. The Chinese violet is called Ye Lai Xiang and it translates as fragrance by night. A little bit of fragrance by night is what the Chinese violet works so hard for every day. And that, perhaps, is bliss. <laughs>